So, you want to reach the realm of the gods in Hajime no Ippo, Victorious Road 2? Well, uh, here I am to show you a few basics to get you started. We're going to be starting off from scratch, uh, creating a new character and all that. Uh, right here, it doesn't really matter what you pick. It's just uh, when your start date will be and I think when your birthday is. And technically, that stuff doesn't really matter. So, let's pick uh, some country I'd never do. These are the choices. USA, England, Thailand, Korea, and Japan. We're going to be going with England this time around. And since I'm just creating a basic template of a character, I'm not going to customize anything. You can choose whichever one of the gyms. It doesn't matter for this strategy. I always like to go for the youngest age possible. And uh, for this one, I'm going to be go aiming for a heavyweight, so I'm going to make him as tall as possible. This will also make it basically unbeatable and we'll give his weight the, sh the lowest it can go so the lowest you always want whenever you're creating a character you always want to go with the lowest weight possible so you work up to your the weight that you want to fight in so it'll, it'll make more sense once we get into it but let's just uh, make those even with the uh, height and then we'll keep going and like I said I'm not gonna spend any time customizing the character so I'll say this guy's our champ and we're gonna go with him. Alright, now that we pass all the character creation stuff, we finally get into the actual training menu. Our trainer's just gonna basically try to explain what we need to do, like the, how to set our schedule and everything, but we don't really need to listen to that part. Because you guys got me and I'll be holding your hand through this experience and hopefully we can create a, a badass champion and hopefully you guys can too. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up your training schedule and meals for right now. For maximum output of uh, basically stats. So what you want to do is set glucose to 8. And you set it that way by going basically just to the by the notches to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's good. Set amino acid to maxed out. So we're going to max this out, amino acid. Fatty acid to one, water maxed out as well. Now to the training, we're going to have everything maxed out from the get-go. With this uh, meal plan, you shouldn't be fatigued. We're going to set holiday, basically your off days, to three. And then you could basically let this sit as you train. And you'll you'll this is the maximum uh, efficiency for right now. We'll have to change it later on. But uh, for now, this is good. We're going to keep training this way. And there's no penalty for how long you stay training. Like, your coach will keep asking you, do you want to do the protest? Do you want to do the protest to become a professional boxer? But you don't have to do it, like, when they ask. You can keep putting it off uh, indefinitely, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure if you if there's a limit to how many times you can tell them no. But I have never hit that limit. I, I, I think the most I've trained before actually fighting was like three years and he hasn't said that oh you have to t do this protest or you, you, you know fail the game or whatever so basically you could take your time to train so right now I'm just gonna let it sit here until we get to heavyweight actually I'll show you some few a few more tricks that you can do to maximize your your stats and uh, gain special moves as well you always want to be on the lookout for when it says now loading because that usually means the coach is going to talk to you. Um, right here he's going to ask uh, if we want to do the protest. Always say no. Be careful at the button placements because like sometimes, well at least when I do it, it lags a bit and it'll hit yes when I don't want it to hit yes. So just be on the lookout for that because you don't want to do your protest right away. It'll kind of lock you into a uh, certain weight class and you don't want that. Well. In, in my situation, I don't want that. Uh, you want to work up to your, whatever uh, weight class you want to fight in. So we're just going to keep telling them no until we're good and ready. Here's another thing we want to keep an eye out for. So when uh, the coach stops to talk to you or tells you something like this, and there's no prompt to say yes or no to, he's not asking you anything, this usually means that you unlocked one of the special trainings. I'll show you right here. Right here. So we unlocked Leaf Catch. Keep an eye out for that, because uh, once we unlock uh, uh, most of the special trainings, we're going to do our own custom training that maximizes our stat gain and uh, 
basically that's what we're going to be looking out for for the future. But right now, our job is to uh, just max out our training um, automatically with the the AI, I guess, um, training planner or whatever. And then once we unlock those special trainings, we'll make our own custom uh, training uh, schedule. And then we'll we'll keep going on, and I'll show you what else we can do. All right, now let's talk about super moves. Super moves are unlocked when uh, you land a certain amount of punches, uh, basically in the lifetime of whatever career boxer you're making. So for example, uh, to unlock the smash, you need to land a combined uh, total of 3,500 hooks and uppercuts. Some moves are considered upgrades to the previous move that you've unlocked before, so you'd have to have that move unlocked before, plus additional stats so the for the super low smash you need 400,000 sway before you can unlock it and for the Haneki smash you need 650,000 twist before you can unlock it but then you'll have moves like the iron punch where you have to have below 200,000 technique below 300,000 hand speed and uh, a heavy punch 650,000 or more solid punch below 300,000 basically this punch is all power no technique but this is going to be our holy grail, the Dempsey roll. You have to have 3,000 or more landed hooks, 12 or more hook KOs, 300,000 technique or more, 500,000 twist or more, and then for your body stats, you need your thigh muscles to be 550,000 or more, hip muscles to be 500,000 or more, back muscles 600,000 or more, and calf muscles 600,000 or more as well. It does take a while to unlock that Dempsey roll, but trust me, it's all worth it. It is the most overpowered bullshit move you can get in this game. Okay, and the best way to unlock those special moves is through sparring, and I'm going to show you an exploit that I use to uh, unlock special moves quickly. It still takes time, but it's faster than doing it... Uh, the normal way. Alright, now once you get into the actual sparring menu, you always want to go for the heaviest guy you, you have at your gym, available at least. Now the headgear for yourself is unnecessary, but you do need to set your uh, glove ounces to 16, have your partner have his headgear on, then we're going to set the uh, downs to free so it doesn't end after three knockdowns, and then uh, I like to go for four rounds just to make it like short and sweet. Uh, you could go for longer, just depends uh, how long you want to spend on one match, I guess. Yeah, that, that that's really un uh, unnecessary, but this is what this is the important part. So, if you have a second controller plugged in, or if you're using an emulator, you could set it up so uh, it's connected. You're going to set that where it says two player to boxer mode, and then you're both going to be in boxer mode. And uh, change gym wear if you want, I always hit no. Alright, and now once the match starts, you just wail on the, your opponent. Since it's a uh, two-player control, you just don't hit anything and uh, on the second controller. You just need to land the punches you need required for whatever you're trying to unlock. So for the smash, you know, you got the however many uh, uppercuts or uh, hooks that you need. And then after that, your KOs that you need, you just gotta knock them out. The jabs that you need to unlock the flicker jab or whatever you need to unlock. I'll actually leave the, the guide on, in the link below as well. I, I do have them in the, my other videos too, but uh, it's a really good guide if you ever want to unlock anything. Just uh, look at it and uh, you can see exactly what stats certain trainings gave you. I'll, I'll, this is just a brief overview. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know the important stuff at least. <laughs> and you can just keep sparring until you unlock whatever moves you want. But now it's time to show you that special uh, training that we need to set up. So we've unlocked, after training for like about a year and a half, something like that, you should have the special trainings required for this. So we're going to go for the iron bar pass, the underwater squat, striking mallet, tennis ball catch, and the splitting wood. That's Those trainings are like the best stat-wise, and also uh, the heavy bag training as well. So here are the stats of the special training that we're switching to. So the first one will be Iron Bar Dash. It increases sway speed, dash speed, footwork speed, twist body, stamina rate, chest muscle, hip muscle, thigh muscle, calf muscle, abdomen muscle, and decreases none. That's the important part. That doesn't decrease anything. 
So for example, uh, the AI had us doing this training before bench press. It increased hand speed, endurance, uh, heavy punch power, solid punch power, basal metabolism, stamina rate, arm muscle, chest muscle, bronchial muscle, back, neck muscle. But it decreased sway speed, footwork, dash, and twist. So it, in the end, it's not worth using compared to uh, the special trainings. Well, most of the special trainings, uh, they mostly all do stat increases um, and like no decreases, which is what we want. We want max out stats and uh, low decreases in our in our uh, trainings. And uh, the only special trainings that don't uh, or they that do give decreases are. Leaf Catch, which uh, decreases heavy punch power and fat. And Scooter Push, that uh, decreases technique. So it's basically your choice on which trainings you want to pick or which ones you want to go for. But just any of the ones that don't decrease any stats, you should be good. Even with the Scooter Push, you might be good if you just have another training that counteracts that, um, that technique loss. Alright, let me show you what the training that I have picked out for this character. In this situation, um, I'm not really worried about uh, really maintaining any sort of weight, so I can afford to go a little bit crazy with the training. But uh, if you're trying to, uh, like, uh, if you're fighting at a lower weight class or you're trying to keep in in a certain uh, weight limit, I suggest using the weight coach and uh, having that thrown in as well with with the whatever training you can get in with the special training. You should still be good. This is just overkill what I'm doing right now. So right now I'm getting all the the trainings that I picked out are uh, boosting my stats, and I have no uh, stat decreasing, no stats decreasing. So once I actually get a real fight, it'll be over like like nothing. Like uh, right now my stats are insane for someone who's not even uh, professional yet. So you can see life, endurance, stamina, rush. You can see me spiking a little bit in fatigue, but that's just because uh, the training that we're doing is absolutely insane. Don't worry if you see the fatigue spike every once in a while. It's fine. Just the only time you should worry about it, if it stays at like 900, 999, 9000 or whatever, uh, if it stays that way, that's when uh, your, your uh, stats will start to decrease across the board. But uh, if it just spikes every once in a while, you're, you're fine because you'll, you'll regain the stats if you do lose any. I don't think you lose any right away. So just uh, – but be sure to keep an eye out on it. Just as long – if it stays longer than I want to say like 10 seconds, then you should worry. But if it just goes up and it goes back down, then you're, you're good. All right, after two years of training, we have absolutely insane stats. Um, as you can see, these are basically end game stats. We could become world champ like nothing with these stats. Um, and that's just without even taking our first uh, pro test or like, you know, our, our professional test box, uh, fight. So we're, we're not even licensed yet and we're already like around champion level. So once you uh, start to actually get fights, like, or you reach your ty uh, desired. Uh, weight class you should uh, ease up on the training and then um, as well as uh, easing up on the diet but uh, the thing about the diet is um, it takes a lot of messing around with like you're gonna have to mess around with the sliders because each um, I want to say each game is like kind of different it depends everything's different like you have to mess around with the stats of, of the sliders and all that just to make sure that you're not gaining too much weight or not losing too much weight and the trainings have to do uh, a lot with it too from my experience a lot of the stamina trainings lower weight but just uh yeah you gotta have to mess around with it on your own to get a real hang of it it does take a while i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna take some getting used to trust me it's really it's really touchy the system but once you get a hang of it you'll be good another good tip is uh once you're like two weeks away from a fight, I always suggest to you hire the the days of rest. So uh, up, you move the holiday slider to the right, just so you can uh, have more, or I mean not have more, have less fatigue. Because once you go into those matches, 
if your fatigue is high, you'll get tired really fast and uh, you'll slow down a lot. So just uh, keep an eye out for that. When it, once it hits like 14 days out to your fight, keep it, keep your holiday like around the six. So you only train once a day or twice, or, or not once a day, once a week or twice a week. And that should uh, make you pretty stable for the fight. All right, and then here we are taking our first professional license test. This should be a cakewalk. There's no way that he can even, like, uh, stand a chance against us. Like, we're going to knock him out. Like, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no telling it. He, he's, he's a pretty heavy guy. Like, as you can see, he's like a heavyweight just like us. But, like, uh, as you can see, he's a lot shorter than us. So he's got more uh, meat on his bones compared to us. And he's down. But off to a great start. Our stats are insane, so you should be, if you're following the same steps I am, you should be able to blow past the first, like, nationals, even the high uh, world-class fighters, and uh, even the champions. I don't think the champions could even put up much of a fight against you, especially if you have the Dempsey roll unlocked. That should be your, like, your main weapon. If you want to, like, if you could try the other uh, super moves out, like the smash is also a good choice. There was one called like the dragonfish blow, I think. That one's a, also a really good choice, and uh, the white fang is another one. The, those will carry you, and you will be set. Like, there's not, there's nothing that can stop you once you have any of those moves. It really. All right, we're just gonna show off his awesome power a little bit. So we're gonna fight this. Uh, guy who has zero losses and two or zero wins and two losses that's what I meant to say I'm having a great day as you can tell that I'm, I'm a little sick right now but we're gonna power through this just like our champ right here and he's down already <laughs> oh man it's so much fun like once you you get it down like this you're 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 a god now you're you're in the realm of the gods Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.